a little bit late with this vlog today. Mum and I have been out shopping and got some stuff for the afternoon tea tomorrow. And I am currently soaking my hand in a bowl of warm water because I have a splinter from doing wardrobe yesterday. commencing oh that doesn't feel nice no it won't oh I don't like it I don't like it oh. <laughs> Leanna it's got to come out that's it Ooh. that's broke the skin oh that was horrible see anything in it. Well that's what I was thinking but there must be something in there really for it to have swallowed oh. up. No? Well. Oh! Ah. If there's anything in there it should have come out now. So we are starting the baking for tomorrow. Oh. So, splinter hopefully removed. We're now starting to do the baking. And we are starting off with a trifle, small little individual trifles. So, I am making up the little trifle pots. It's not for you. You don't like jelly. I've just given him some biscuits, but I don't think he knows they're there. It's not for you. to let them set. So next up we're making a lemon cake. Lemon cake. sugar, margarine or butter? Either. Either or. Uh, eggs and some lovely lemon curd. Now we're going to mix it all together. So it's all been mixed together and now we're going to stick it in the cake tin and uh, bake it. So, whilst the uh, lemon cake cooks, we're now starting on the eggs for the egg mayo sandwiches. Um, and we've decided that we need 12, 12 eggs cooking. Mum and Dad have got these uh, tiny little egg cooker things that you stick in the microwave. We'll get, the, we'll get one out in a minute. But basically you just stick an egg in it, poke a hole in the top and shove it in the microwave for 8 minutes. Really good. The little chickens. Quack! Ow, and they're very hot. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be cooking some eggs and chopping them up. So, whilst we wait for the eggs to cook, we're on to the much more important task of decorating. Um, Mum has got this from 
some lady. Mm. But basically it's to put photos in. Um, so we're picking up photos of me throughout my years and putting them up so that everybody can have a look and, and laugh at how I used to look when I was a child. So we've picked a couple so far and then we've got to look through the rest of the albums but we've got this one of me and my granddad. That's tiny baby me. So we'll put that up there. This one of tiny baby me with my auntie and my cousins. Baby me enjoying the swing in the park. And then we've got baby me enjoying a sand pit. Hell yeah. The next one we've got is not so baby me with my sister on holiday somewhere. Are we Where are we there? Turkey? Where? Greece? Spain? Uh, Ibiza. In Ibiza. First holiday abroad. Yeah, living at large. So yeah. And we're going to try and find some some other photos. Found some more. So, we have this one of the very first time we went on holiday to America. This is the first time we went to Florida. Then we've got this one of me in town, sitting in the sea, also in America. We've got, this is the last holiday I went on with my parents and we went to Harry Potter World and here is me. With all my dreams come true. This one of all four of us, which can go. Let me set up one. one can go in there. And then we got this one. Because I'm leaving. And the last final picture we have of me, and the most recent probably that's been printed, is my graduation picture. Yeah, I win. So. There you go. That's me throughout the ages. Now you all know the question of whether I've always been this blonde, and the answer is yes. There you go. So, the finished product is... There you go. That's part of the decoration. Then we've also got some bunting up. it turns out we had a little bit of gap so one less photo oh hell yeah I met a princess so there you go the updated version of my life you've all just been blessed with the privilege that only uh, prospective boyfriends get my baby pictures so the Exeter with lemon cakes only got five minutes left so now we're going to start making the brownies. Right, let's pour to the cup. We're on a bit of a break with the brownie because mum decided to find a recipe in cups rather than grams. Yeehaw! So everything <laughs> takes five times as long to figure out what it is. But <laughs> It's really not American. The lemon cake is done. The syrup has been put on it, so that's just now chilling. And the chocolate's been melted for the brownies. Oh, bugger, there's water in there. <laughs> Mum's ruined melting butter. But otherwise, oh, I mean, no. It's fell in there. <laughs> things are going great. So, the brownie is cooking in the oven. And we are starting on a Victoria sponge cake. I'm starving. I've been snacking on... Oh, you can't see it. I've been snacking on leftover takeaway whilst we've been cooking. And it's really good. I just want to eat. So the Victoria sponge cake going in there. Oh, look, there's a bowl of eggs. The brownie has got four minutes left. In there. So the Victoria sponge is going in straight after.
everything is finally done. Um, we've got scones, we've got the cheese, we've got the eggs, the trifles, the brownies are done as well, the sponge cake is done. What else did we do? Is that it? I don't even remember anymore. I'm really tired. My back hurts. I mean, considering I spent all day yesterday like hunched over doing furniture, do it, spending all day hunched over a different kind of surface today has not done my back any good. But yeah, we're all done. Um, I can finally eat because all I've had today is a sausage bap at like nine o'clock this morning, so I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna make a drink as well because I haven't had anything to drink. And yeah, mum and dad are gonna try and put their wardrobe, to, well, mum's new wardrobe together when dad gets back, rather than the me. So I think I'm gonna try and do, experiment a little bit with my hair as well, figure out what kind of styles I can do with this new side parting and fringe, and I've had a fair bit taken off the bottom. So figure that kind of thing out, and um, yeah. It's been a busy two days and tomorrow I'm sure will be just as busy and I am not ready for it. I'm tired. I'm just tired. Oh, interesting piece of news. Um, whilst we were making the Victoria sponge cake, my phone went off. Generally, I don't answer numbers if I don't know who they're from because I think if it's going to be anyone important, then they will either leave a message or they will keep ringing. If they keep ringing, and I put their, no their number into Google and it comes up being like, this is a no claims accident thing. And I just ignore it whenever it comes through. But I got a call while we were making the Victoria sponge cake from an 0116 number, which is obviously a Leicester number. So I thought, well, mum said to me, you better probably ring it back because it's probably going to be Asda. And it was Asda. Um, I have taken my dollars out with them or ordered my New Zealand dollars, I should say, because nowhere holds New Zealand dollars um, and I ordered them on Wednesday I believe Wednesday yeah ordered them Wednesday afternoon no Wednesday morning so I ordered these New Zealand dollars Wednesday morning she said yeah sure that's fine we'll put in the order for you you'll be able to come pick them up Monday so I thought yeah great Monday my contact lenses are supposed to be coming in around that time as well, so I can do like a trip for both. I got a text earlier from the opticians saying that my contact lenses were in, which I was like really pleased about because I was worried they wouldn't arrive on time. So I was like, oh, thank God. Um, so I rang back the number and it was the woman saying, we've had an email sent around to say that they've run out of New Zealand dollars. First of all, who, who is they? New Zealand? Has New Zealand run out of New Zealand dollars? Because I'm pretty sure they haven't. Secondly, why, if you ordered them on Wednesday for me, am I only being informed right now? And thirdly, she said to me, we can order them in on Monday and get them delivered for Tuesday and you can come and collect them on Tuesday. Tuesday is my sister's graduation. I am busy, cannot collect them on Tuesday. Which is why I wanted them delivered on Monday, because Monday is pretty much the only free day I have next week. Tuesday is my sister's graduation. Wednesday is the day before I fly. So that's going to be like making sure I've got everything, making sure everything's packed. I've got all the right information for the airport and all that kind of stuff. Thursday is the day I fly. So Monday was the last day I really had. I, I know I kind of left it a little bit late to get money, but at the same time... Most people do wait until a couple of days before the holiday, before they get money, because they're waiting to see which exchange rate is best. So we'll see how that goes. I, I, um, she said she'd ring me back again on Monday if there's any more issues with getting New Zealand dollars, which is great and everything, but if there is an issue, then what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I've gone from feeling fairly calm because I've heard about my contact lenses to being 100% stressed again. I'm stressing and I need to go and calm down. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here for today and try and find a way to calm myself down because I'm starting to get really nervous and I can feel my heart beating. So yeah, 
I'll talk to you guys tomorrow probably when my party is going. I might show a little bit of the party, I might not. I've not really decided yet, but I'll definitely show you all the sandwich making and everything that happens before people start to arrive and probably do a little bit of drunk vlogging, uh, vlogging after they've gone because I will probably be drunk. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow.